So the last problem that we're going to work on in this uh, chapter is going to be an application of uh, logarithms. <clears throat> so in this problem, we're looking to see uh, how long it takes for 4.2 grams of carbon-14 uh, to be reduced to 1.3 uh, by radioactive decay, assuming the half-life of carbon-14 is 5,730 years. Um, so there's going to be two different steps into this problem. So step one uh, is going to be to find the rate of decay. So we've got the, the, the organism decaying, uh, carbon-14 is being reduced, so the rate of decay um, will be a negative uh, value in our exponential model. Um, now, this rate of decay that we're finding is, is specific to carbon-14. Um, the the half-life of carbon-14 is 5730. Uh, if, if you had a different uh, isotope, then you would have a different half-life and we'd have to find a different rate of decay. Um, so we'll, uh, we'll go ahead and start with uh, finding the rate of decay using our formula A equals PE raised to the RT. Um, if we're trying to find the rate of decay, we're trying to find R. Uh, so the amount that we start with, the amount of carbon-14 that we start with would be 100%. So that would be a 1. Uh, the amount that we end with, A, would be 1 half. So we start with 100%. The half-life means that uh, over a certain amount of time, uh, you'll have half of what you originally started with. Um, that certain amount of time is 5,730 years. So this will allow us now to find what the rate of decay is. Again, we would assume a negative value. Uh, so I'll go ahead and to solve for R, we'll natural log both sides. Uh, the natural log is, is beneficial because now we can pull down the 5730 R. And the natural log was, was chosen not by, by uh, a random uh, choice, but instead, if you'll now notice, the natural log of E goes off to 1. And to get R all by itself, all we have to do is divide by 5730. So this is the exact value of R. Um, I would recommend uh, for a problem like this to punch this in your calculator. Uh, and you can store the number in your calculator and then recall it uh, a little bit later when we actually need it for this problem. So we have negative 0 0.00012968. So that's step one of the problem. Uh, step two is to actually solve the problem. So in step one, we didn't really discuss uh, the 4.2 or the 1.3. Uh, step one was just a very, a very generic step uh, for carbon-14. So the actual problem now, uh, in a similar way, we'll start with A equals PE to the RT. Um, and because the R value is, is pretty ugly, um, what I'd recommend doing is identifying which variable you're solving for. Um, and then in this formula, before plugging in the numbers, go ahead and solve for it. Um, so it's pretty clear. Uh, the question is how long does it take? Um, so we're needing to solve for T. So to solve for T, I'll go ahead and I'll take A over P, which equals E to the RT. Once again, I'll natural log both sides. The natural log is in place now so that I can bring down the RT. The natural log of E is 1. And so we've just found out that T uh, equals the natural log of A over P divided by R. Um, once we have this in place, now it's just a matter of plugging our numbers in uh, and then plugging it in our calculator. Uh, so T ends up equaling the natural log. Um, the starting amount is P. The ending amount is A. So for us, it would be a 1.3 divided by 4.2. So again, the, the P value, that's where we start with. Uh, and for us... The number we start with would be 4.2. Uh, the number we end with, the A value, would be 1.3. Uh, and then the R value, uh, that would be what we found a little while ago. Uh, maybe I'll just put that in quotes uh, so I know to, to go back and plug that full number in there. 
Um, if you did store it in your calculator, it makes for an easy uh, calculation without having to retype that number. So um, that's a nice idea to, to, to take with you uh, in case you run into any more carbon-14 problems because they'll always have the same half-life, uh, and so you already have that number. Um, when you do punch this in your calculator, T ends up being approximately 9,694 years.